Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I decided to film a little talk and I'm filming this while I'm doing my winter walk, like daily walk, because I have a little pain in my back and I think that's because I was exaggerating with my workouts. <laughs> Whenever I have high levels of stress, I usually try to put all of this out in my workout. So I think I will be, I think I will go more easier now and concentrate more on walks, on fresh air. And we have a beautiful winter. It's like 11 degrees below zero, I guess. And I read somewhere that this kind of winter we had only the last time when they had this kind of winter was in 2018 so yeah I'm actually enjoying this So yeah, I'm trying to enjoy the winter and keep on moving even though I'm not like doing any weights at this point. I want to heal my back and then <laughs> I understood that the date when I will be leaving to Norway gets closer and closer. At this moment when I'm filming this, I still have about two days, so I still have my uh, suitcase packing which is the most annoying and craziest thing usually for me because I want to take all my house with me <laughs> and it's impossible I also am, am thinking constantly about all of those rules and I hope things will be okay I'm not very sure about how some of the parts of my traveling will actually happen in real life like for example when will be the moment when I will give Kosha to Italy and how of course I can take her to the hotel and leave the cat on reception and go away and then Vitaly just comes and takes her or maybe there's a, some kind of possibility to organize that somebody gives her to him on the arrivals I'm not sure how it will work. If somebody has had an experience with traveling with pets at this crazy traveling pandemic time, please do let me know, write down in comments how did you manage that. And yeah, and I was also like thinking about what will I actually do during these 10 days? So. I came up with some ideas. The first one actually concerns the fact that my back is a little bit achy. I understood that the last time when I actually was resting, like really resting, resting without any stress to go for a run or do sports activities was not sure how many years ago because even when I went on a vacation, I always somehow pushed my, myself to go for a run or do some kind of exercises, which is good, but maybe I just need to use these 10 days to be more like with myself and not to push my body to the limits. I don't know how it will work because knowing myself, I most probably will try to improvise and do whatever activities within the framework of quarantine like in the hotel room not sure how big it will be but I'm gonna show you and maybe I will I think I will definitely go for walks and if there will be no rain maybe some runs but the aim I guess will be to rest as much as possible and use this time as my resting period to come out and smash everything I will be doing in regards to my 
sports and fitness goals. The second thing I will probably be doing, I will catch up with my reading because there was a period when I actually was reading quite a lot. I don't know, somehow I pushed all of this away and I have a bunch of uh, great books to read and I think I will do some reading which is also like good for my English and another thing I've started the third thing is I've subscribed to Norwegian language course I found my tutor she will teach me online and we'll see like February is going to be my first month when I will be doing my Norwegian classes online twice a week and I truly hope everything's gonna be okay and I will smash that but my first like introduction uh, lesson is going to be during quarantine so I will feel and understand how it actually works uh, during my quarantine excited actually the next thing of course Obviously, I can watch a lot of movies and uh, TV shows, so here guys, please help me write down in comments what should I watch, what are your suggestions. Uh, just saying that I'm a huge TV geek, movie geek, so I have watched pretty much everything, so anyways, but I want to know your suggestions. Maybe you have something that I haven't seen yet. Uh, and. I don't know, maybe I could use these 10 days to do some kind of challenge, you know, like, oh yeah, I was thinking lately about doing some kind of yoga more, because once I was like very regular with doing that, but now I somehow slipped into more weights and um, running so maybe these 10 days i will dedicate to my yoga challenge to get back this my inner yoga flow meditation and i will definitely that's the thing i promised myself i will do more stretching because i have also abandoned this thing uh, too and if you didn't know i can do splits and stuff like that and i'm pretty flexible but I don't know, I think for two or three months I haven't like seriously stretched, so maybe, yeah, maybe I will do more stretching, but yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell because I will definitely be documenting all of that stuff so that you can see what, I, what I'm doing and how my life's going during these 10 days, and actually if you think about it, if you find different things to do, these 10 days will not be like a struggle, I think. So, we'll see how it happens, but of course, I can plan everything, but <laughs> the main thing is just to cross the border and then the life will start, my Norwegian life will start. We'll, we'll see how it all will go. Meanwhile, I will just keep on enjoying my walk and yeah, most probably see you when I will be packing my suitcase. So yeah, this is the last time when I'm actually cooking here something like treats or whatever you can call it. Uh, to, tomorrow my grand, grandpa and mom are visiting me. I guess that's like the last time when we're like sitting and hanging around before I go to Norway. So I made my famous carrot cake muffins. I hope they will like it. Anyone who eats them says they're great. So today I kind of improvised, I also added some caramel syrup and almonds, so this is going to be double tasty. <laughs> 